Alright. Oh, welcome everyone. Welcome to Hindi University. Uh, really excited to to have all of you this Sunday. As you know, my name is Ashutosh, and we meet uh, each Sunday 8 a.m. U.S. Pacific time to learn about the Hindi language. Uh, for those of you who are uh, new to Hindi University, uh, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Hindi University, one word. Um, and you can find a lot of Hindi related videos that we have. Um, if you missed any of the, the previous classes and if you're interested in joining the, the, the Sunday live session that we have, you can find all the details on this page, which is tiny.cc slash Hindi University where you will find all the, the Zoom link uh, to join the, uh, the Sunday classes as well as the practice sessions that we do on a regular basis. Um, and, uh, you know, also you'll find the details about the books that we've been following, um, you know, last year as well as this year. So last year, as you know, we covered the book called Teach Yourself Hindi from, uh, by Professor Rupert Snell. Um, this year we're covering two books in parallel. So one is the... the Advanced Hindi Grammar by uh, Usha Jain, a very well known professor from the UC Berkeley and the other one we are doing is Pingu Learns Hindi, okay, which is the a complete beginner's book, okay, Pingu Learns Hindi. Um, and each week we try to cover different topics. Uh, this week my goal is uh, for today's class we'll be covering a new topic called Inverted Inverted post position. Don't get intimidated by you know this term. It's a pretty straightforward thing. And by the end of this class, my goal is all of you will be we will will feel confident using some of the inverted post position that we have. Okay. So with that in mind, let's get started. As always, you know if you have any questions, you can unmute yourself, and uh, you know. Um, and ask uh, because if you have a question, most likely you know other people have my have so, as well. Uh, Namaste, Leah Ji and Stephen Ji. Good to see you on Facebook side, um, and I uh, hope you're enjoying in Delhi, Stephen. Um, so let's let's start with inverted post position. So as you know, most of you that uh, the term post position is really uh, not different what you have in English, which is preposition, right, which is pre, before, the noun or the pronoun. So for example, if you are in Paris, okay, and from, um, let's say from Tibet, in all of those, or you know, you have this, uh, the grammatical concept or construct is coming before the noun or the pronouns, okay, that's why they're known as preposition. The same thing in Hindi is called post position. Okay, so in Paris becomes Paris may. Okay, uh, from Tibet is like Tibet say. Okay, so they are coming post the, the noun that you have, that's why they are known as post position. Now, what is this term called inverted post position? Typically, post positions are like, you know, um, single, single word, like, you know, me, se, ka, ke, ki, par, uh, as most of you guys are familiar with, okay? Sometimes, you know, post positions are combined with additional word and they become, um, you know, for example, you have ke pass. And what does it mean, ke pass, uni? Ke pass? Ke pass is near. Near. And very good. if we use ke pass person, then mm -hmm. is to. Very good. Very good. Right. So it means near. And if it is used differently, like, you know, mere pass, like, you know, pen hai, it means like, you know, I have. Okay. Um, so it's, we have covered the whole topic of it. But right now, the point is compound post position. Ke pass. And then similarly, say dur. What does it mean? Say do anyone? Far from. Far from, right? Far from. So what I'm trying to say is like, when you have like typically one word type of, uh, you know, 
these they are they are simply called post positions but these are called compound post positions <clears throat> compound post positions and there are some compound post positions like you know again like if you keep going it and if i were to use these two i'm going to say uh nepal ke paas nepal ke paas india hai let's say okay or let's say america se dur uh i'm going to still say india hai let's say okay now you will still notice that you know um you have they still used as uh you know post position because um these post positions are coming after the the nouns okay now there are cases or there are some post positions which are used where you can change the position of it okay and they appear before the the nouns and what are those so let's say you have the first one i'm going to give and as an example is k bina okay anyone has heard of it k bina i'm going to ask you guys let's say anesta yeah without without very good without without what does it mean can you use an example of it without it's a very simple example take any noun just take one noun hawa ke bina nahi je sakti hawa very good right so what is hawa hawa is air air so air. without air is hawa ke bina very good hawa ke bina hawa ke bina now you will notice ke bina is still coming after hawa <coughs> what this term inverted post position is that there are about four or five <laughs> compound post positions which you know are they allow you to change the position same thing to emphasize the meaning of it same thing you can say bina hawa ke so you split bina ke you know this this two things and you put bina hawa ke it means the same thing it just emphasizing the the uh, the, the sentence you are saying so uh, mahaji you said hawa ke bina nahi ji sakti nahi nahi ji sakta stay sakti right same thing you can say yeah right ha bina hawa ke nahi ji sakti very good bina hawa ke nahi ji sakti same meaning but you are emphasizing uh more the you know the utility of air that bina hawa ke nahi ji sakti okay bina pani ke nahi reh sakti okay uh i'm not going to go fast i'm going to do very simple um write down again just so that you know it it makes sense to everyone so i'm going to erase it and uh, so these are called inverted post position and today we'll be covering about four of those so let's start again um first one is without okay k bina k bina okay so just like the example uh, you know mahaji said without air so when you say without air it's hawa k bina it's the same as equivalent to bina hawa k which is if you listen to the some of the hindi songs they will often drop this part a and they'll say bin which is same as which is not the dust bin but uh, same as like you know this thing bin okay bin hawa ke bin bin tera very good right there is, you probably have heard this song like bin tere right bin tere yes right so so what is that what do you think it means in in english uh, about bin tere yeah. without you without you without you is you know 
uh, if you are using informal you know you is tu tum and aap right so which is let's say you have aap plus ke bina and you will say aap ke bina aap ke bina and informally you will say tumhare bina okay or tere bina tere bina tere bina jeena mushkil hai very good right so without you it's you know um, it's hard to live okay so aapke bina can be also said as bin aapke bina aapke bina aapke same thing you know um you know um same thing you going to you get invert them as well okay um now there are many hindi songs to kind of make my point there are many hindi songs uh, written in the same theme right um you you probably have heard of this song like you know uh, bin tere bin tere sana like without you love or something like that like you know and um, um similarly like you know others as well but the point is you know uh, without is ke bina you can use it you know just like the way you were using other post positions and you can invert them as well if you hear them when somebody is using in an inverted sense they are really emphasizing it that's about it okay so let's try to practice some more examples okay um so let's say without you is aapke bina what is without money let's say uh, i'm going to ask uh, angela ji you have to unmute yourself and tell us how, what will you say without money um bina Okay. Very, very good, right? That's an inverted way of saying it. Like you know, and the other one would be, bina. Okay, bina, bina, paise, paise ke. And the other one would be, which is the regular form. Sorry, paise ke bina. Both of them are correct. Okay. Okay. Bina paise ke or paise ke bina. Good stuff. Can you think of a sentence? a simple sentence um, no i'm sorry yeah let, let me help you let me help you with a very simple sentence okay uh let's try to say uh paise ke bina okay let's say he works how will you say this one he works in hindi ho kaam karti ho okay vah very good right vah aur wo wo kaam um karta hai very good this one he doesn't work wo vah kaam nahi karta hai nahi ka vah kaam nahi very good karta hai now you have to say he doesn't work without money how will you say that um he stop he doesn't he work have... yeah he doesn't work without money vah bina paise ke kaam nahi करता है बिना पैसे के काम नहीं करता है और यू कैन से वह पैसे के बिना काम नहीं करता है इधर वे करेक्ट यू सी इट्स नॉट दैट हार्ट आई वेन यू पुल इट टू गैदर ओके ऑसम ग्रेट स्टफ लेट्स कीप गोइंग लेट्स सी आपके बिना दिस मन हु वुड लाइक टू यूज इट इन सेंटेंस यू कैन रेज योर हैंड और आई कैन यू नो जस्ट पेक वन पर्सन एट अ टाइम एंड देन एवरीबडी विल गेट देयर चांस दिस वन आपके बिना um masram ji you want to give this one a try maha i'll come to you after that okay so this one without you aapke bina 
without you. Yeah. Aapke bina, aapke bina, me kaam me karunga. Okay, very good. Okay, so you said I will work. What does it mean in Hindi? I will work. Me kaam karunga. Very good. Me kaam. By the way, this one is definitely an intermediate advance. Because it, the expectation is you already know some tenses, some verbs. So, I is may, work is calm, will work. It's you know work is basically to work is calm karna as a verb, and you conjugated it accordingly for future is karunga for may. May calm karunga, and I won't work would be. Masram ji. May up ke bina. Yeah. Calm may karunga. या मैं काम नहीं करूंगा एंड एज यू राइटली सेड मैं आपकी बिना काम नहीं करूंगा आई वोट वर्क विदाउट यू ओके सिमिलरली महा कैन यू जस्ट यू द सेम टेम्पलेट एंड चेंज द वर्ब वॉट एल्स कैन यू से मैं आपके बिना आई प्रिपेयर देंटेंस गो फॉर इट आपके बिना जिंदगी अधूरी है लाइफ इज इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट यू ओके ऑसम लेट्स सी विद्या जी गुड टू हैव यू क्या चल रहा है आप मुझे फेर रहे हैं क्या कर रहे हो क्या ठीक ठाक है ओके चेंज द वर्ल्ड चेंज द वर्ल्ड एन यू नो से समथिंग अबाउट मैं आपके बिना आई पुट वन इन द चैट ओह यू पुट इट ओके आई हां आई डिडंट सी मैं ससुराल नहीं जाऊं ओह वाओ ओह वाओ इट्स इट्स लाइक अ सॉन्ग और समथिंग हां ऑसम अम लेट्स सी नंदिनी जी यू वांट टू गिव दिस वन अ ट्राई सॉरी आई जस्ट डिडंट अंडरस्टैंड योर क्वेश्चन व्हाट डू यू वांट टू ऐड देयर फॉर रियल इदर यू कैन मेक अ सेंटेंस विद आपके बिना और यू कैन जस्ट आपके बिना मैं कहा नहीं जाऊंगी ओके कहा आपके बिना चेन्नई नहीं जाऊंगी चेन्नई इज लाइक मेट्रो सिटी इन इंडिया विच इज नोन एज मेट्रास इन दास्ट मैं आपके बिना चेन्नई नहीं जाऊंगी आई विल नॉट गो टू चेन्नई विदाउट यू ऐसा बट फॉर द सेक ऑफ सेंटेंस राइट ऑसम Let's see. Uh, JD, you want to give this one a try? Uh, मैं आपके बिना नहीं नाचूंगा. मैं आपके बिना नहीं नाचूंगा. Okay. Sometimes people want to eat food together, right? And you're waiting for the friend, and you want to say that I won't eat without you. Okay. Uh, Wujun, how will you say that? Which is I won't eat without you. I आपके बिना Uh, eat? I don't know how to say eat. To eat is what do you think? It eat is to eat is I eat apple. Something with ka. Ka na right? Ka na. So I won't eat without you. Me. Me. खाना नहीं खाऊंगा राइट खाना इज ऑल्सो नाउ खाना इज ऑल्सो राइट सो मैं आपके बिना नहीं खाऊंगा ऑसम 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 गुड जॉब गुजुन देर लेट्स सी टाइलर यू वॉन्ट टू गिव दिस ट्राई आई एम गोना गिव यू डिफरेंट वन ओके विच इज आई एम गोना गिव यू विदाउट मिल्क एंड विदाउट लेट्स से थी एनी थिंग टेक एनी लिक्विड और एनी ड्रिंक सो विदाउट विदाउट वॉटर Or without, without water, and I have some more. Uh, let's say milk. Okay, I'm gonna use without water. Okay, so what is it without water? So, me pani ke bina. Uh huh. Nahi khata hu. Very good. Without milk is just in itself. Oh, doot uh, ke. दूध के बिना वेरी गुड सो लेट्स नाउ गो ओवर द सेंटेंस यू रोट सो यू रोट मैं मैं पानी के बिना नहीं खाता हूं व्हाट डज इट मीन मैं पानी के बिना 
I will not eat without water. Well, yeah. Yeah. Let's write it down. I don't eat. Yeah, I don't eat without water. I don't eat without water. Okay. Um, um, so I can simply say, main, main, um, okay, okay. Uh, any, any, anything else you want to try on this one? Tyler, good one. Main pani ke bina nahi khata you can add simply like. Like if you want to specify it, you can specify the food also. But this True. is a, yeah. um, I don't have anything else that comes to mind right off the bat with without water. Okay. Um, okay. So Any, I think that's it. Yeah, good, good. Anyone else would like to add on it without water? Pani ki bina. I think Maha you already said it, Jina Mushkil hai. So that's like a template, common template, right? Pani ki bina jindigi mushkil hai. Life is hard without without water Ashuchi, yeah. can I try yeah, please, please. Shak shakar, very good very good so you said without sugar without sugar sugar is chini or uh, shakar someone said chini ke bena and the sentence is main chai nahi P ungi. I'm gonna just write P ungi. Okay, P ungi. Main chai nahi P ungi. And all you're saying is like main chini ke bina chai nahi P ungi. Right? So I will not have tea without sugar. Okay? Um, you can invert it as well. Main bina, uh, main chini ke bina chai nahi P ungi. Or main bina chini ke chai nahi P ungi. Okay? Just to emphasize the flavor of it. Uh, I think Uni, you wrote something and you wrote Main coffee dood ke bina piyongi. Very good. Right? Um, Main coffee dood ke bina piyongi. You can say the opposite as well. Right? Main, um, okay. Anyone else would like to try? Can I try something, Ashuji? Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's correct. Yeah, please. Because we add two things like dood or Pani ke bina, uh -huh. chai nahi bana sakti or? Yeah, you can say that, right? I wasn't sure how to end the verb as sakti because it's about chai then. So let's write it down. Dood or pani ke bina. Okay. Dood. Dood. Or. or pani, pani ke bina. Ke bina. Chai. Nahi. Nahi. Banti hai. Banti hai. Banti hai. Right? But you are. Can't be made of. That's yes. what I yes. say, but I didn't know how to say it. Yeah, so that's what you will say, right? It, it, it is not made without, it, you know, you. you, know, ah. you oh, but, that's, you made it like it can't be made, like Banti. That, that I'm not got to Yeah, it's so, in, in a way. Say bana sakti. Yeah, yeah. You can say, then you will have like a, like a pronoun there. Hum. Huh, then it becomes bana sakte, bani that, sakte. That's right. Hum bana sakte. Bani sakte bani. Hum, dood or chai, dood or pani ki bina chai Then it's hum is going with So only hum. the sakte needs to be included. That's right. That's bana right. Bana sakte. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no worries. It's a good one. <laughs> I hope all of you got it. She's trying to just add like, you know, Two of them together, pani ki bina, dood ki bina, into a single sentence, right? Um, let's see, I have a couple of more sentences here, and just to kind of like, after that will be easier, once you get one of them, then it's much easier. So now I have like, you know, uh, and up to you, you can change it, so it's, a, it's a think about something like any document, which is like a, without license or passport or visa you get the point what i'm trying to go with that right you can make a variety of sentences with that because without these or without atm card there are a lot of things you cannot do right so there you have a possibility of thinking and making more hindi sentences uh, so let's see manohari ji you want to give this one a try Do 
No. <laughs> okay. No, no. Let's try. Let's see. You, you can go. Let's say, how about this? How will this? Travel. You can drive yeah. in the car without license. So you can. You can you go to. Let's say you can go to Japan. How will you say that? Mm -hmm. You can go to Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, up. Mm -hmm. Japan. May. Okay. No can. To go is. Go. To go is. Ga Ghana. Jana, very good. Jana, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. So, Ab Japan. Ab Japan. Jati. Can is? Mm. I can. Jati. I can eat is? You know, Mac. Apple ka. Or I can eat apple is my apple ka. Sakta. Right. Right. Sakta. Right. So, sak sak can is sakna. Ja. Ja. Japan. Ja. Sakte. Very good. Aap Japan ja sakte hai. Right? Now you can say, you cannot go to Japan. How will you say that? Aap Japan nahi ja sakte hai. Very good. Aap Japan nahi ja sakte hai. Now do you get the clue? Mm -hmm. Aap Aap ke bina? Kiske bina? Kiske bina? Kiske, like what? Without what? Kiske. Without, uh, like, without passport. Very good. So, up. <clears throat> up. Passport ki bina <laughs> nahi ja sak. Japan. Mm -hmm. Japan ja sakte. Very good. Say it one more time, but this time without interrupting. You did a pretty good job. Up. <laughs> up. Uh, passport ke bina uh -huh. Japan nahi ja sakte. There you go. Aap passport ke bina oh. Japan nahi ja sakte hai. Right? Or visa, visa ke bina Japan nahi ja sakte hai. Okay. 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 Um, uh -huh. For those of you who are a little bit more advanced, without, if you want to say without obtaining the visa, so you will say visa liye bina. Without obtaining the visa, you can just add this. Without visa, liye bina, Japan nahi ja sakte hai. Awesome. Let's see. Uh, Miraji, you want to give this one a try? Same thing. Without license, without passport, visa, ATM card. You can pick any of them. Okay. Um... ATM card, ke bina, huh? paisa, paisa, uh, nahi, uh, nahi, uh, milte hai. Very good, right? You can say that, right? ATM card ki bina paise nahi milte hai. Let's say you have, all of you, I'm going to give a small quiz, okay? He was, let's say you're telling someone, he was driving, he was driving car without license. I'm going to ask all of you to do it including folks over on Facebook and you get one minute to, to translate it, okay? So he was driving car without license. Risha ji, you want to give this one a try? He was driving car without license. Shah Namaskar. Yeah. Uh, license ke bina gari chala chala hai. Okay, he was driving. So you have past continuous. Okay. Very good, right? So, where license ke bina gadi chala raha and because it's past, it would be tha, right? He was driving car without you know license, but license ke bina gadi chala raha tha, okay? Awesome. 
Ted, great to have you. Long time. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you want to give this one a try? Anything? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, uh, license ke bina gadi chala raha tha. Okay, awesome. Any variation of uh, that sentence? Can you say because you know, you live in India quite often? Like sometimes you can drive a car without license in India. The opposite of it. Okay. Let's say you have to make that one. <laughs> Don't do that. But okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, Say that sentence. Yeah, say it. Sometimes you can drive in India without a license. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, India, me, kabi kabi, license ke bina chala sakte. Kya car chala sakte? Yeah, I'm gonna get into trouble. For, yeah, I'm gonna get into trouble for saying that. But you know, it's like just for practice sessions, right? Like, so it's not nothing is formal here. So. <laughs> Awesome. So I hope it makes sense. I hope it gives you some more confidence. Okay. And um, variety of sentences you can make. Okay. Um, so Usha Jain, she uses a, a little bit interesting one, advance also. And um, so she says without kids and she makes a sentence about it. Without kids. Okay. So I'm going to ask, uh, let's say who would like. Sumit, so you want to try this one? Without kids. Sure. Um, so, kids is a uh, bache, mm -hmm. but it's without. So, but it will be done. Bacho. Very good. Bacho kevina. Very good. Bacho kevina. Okay. And she makes a sentence like, you know, the house is, the house feels empty without kids. Um, gar, um, gar, bacho ke bina khali milti hai. Very good. Gar bacho ke bina khali. Um, khali is, she is very really saying it as a form of empty. It's empty. Khali hai. Okay. Either you can say simply, um, or you can say khali lag raha hai. Uh, yeah, lag, uh, hai. Yes, right? it's feel, feeling, right? So, khali lag raha hai, or it's empty without kids. Ghar bacho ke bina khali hai. Okay? I hope it makes sense. Homework exercise for all of you is to, to at least try, you know, using it on a day-to-day -day conversation and at least think about two two sentences that you can... Um, Ashanti, yeah. just a, a quick question. Yeah. Can the noun... Can the noun or the subject, I guess, um, so God, uh -huh. could, could it be, could you start the sentence with, I know you started the sentence with God, but could you say, Bacho ke bina ghar khali? You can totally do that. You can you totally can do that. that. Yes, you can do that. Yeah. You can totally do that. You can even say, Bina bacho ke ghar khali hai. Not only you can change this position, you can, as you know, this one can come before. So you can say bina bacho ke ghar khali hai. Okay. Guruji, can yeah. we uh, replace bina with bagher? Bagher, you can say that, right? You can say that. So she's saying bina is same as bagher. Bagher is has a more Ur Urdu flavor to it, but you can say that. So it's a ba, ga with two a and uh, bagher. Ba, gher. Ashuji is, is Kali feminine? Kali feminine. It's Thali. Uh, I think you're probably thinking of um, uh, Kali. Uh, you can use it Gar Kali Tha or, you know, University Kali Thi. Okay. So for it's, you know, you can use it for both, both kind of situations. But you're probably thinking of Thali. When I say Kali, you you probably thinking of a, a, a word that rhymes with it, which is plate. But what 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 were you thinking in your mind? Maybe tell me rather than I'm trying to think. The guy is masculine and Kali uh, look feminine. Basically. Okay, so okay, so in which case you're thinking like girl Kali hai? Is that? 
uh, yeah, I thought it's masculine, and then I didn't. Uh, I wasn't sure if Kali is feminine or masculine. Okay. So I'm not, no, no, I understood that, the question, but like, what other, if let's say you were not sure about it, what, how, how will this sentence change for you? I'm just trying to understand so I can at least see. Like, gar bacho ke bina khali hai. Or you can change the sentence also if you would like. Let's say you don't know the, the, the gender of it. Yeah. What would you say? I would have, I would have thought it would be khala. Okay, khala so no, so if that is the question, no, there is no term called khala. It's always khali. It's always khali. It's always khali. Yeah. Yes. So if it's feminine or masculine. Yes, I can't think of it being like you know the the masculine form of it. It's always khali, like you know class khala, khali. Khala is our auntie. Khala. Yes, khala is auntie, which is again like an Urdu word. Yes, yes. khala. And, uh, another question please we can that be only bay and the, like bay shak bay pana bay. yeah that's we, right only that bay yeah, yeah. and the, the negative the word would become negative yes that's right okay so far so good anyone any other questions on this one should we move to the next one next inverted uh, post position which is k mare you probably have heard of it again, K Mare. This one is rather simple, but also K Mare. Okay, which is basically out of. Okay, so I'll give some examples. So let's say out of fear. Out of fear is you have Dar K Mare. Dar is fear. Dar K Mare. So think about all the feelings, okay? Uh, out of fear is dar ke mare. Out of happiness, out of happiness is <clears throat> khushi ke mare. Khushi ke mare. I'm gonna write some more examples and then I'm gonna ask you guys to make some sentences, okay? Khushi ke mare. <clears throat> And then you have out of his or and like in because in sometimes sentences because of heat or summer. Okay, um, it's garmi. So you say garmi ke mare. Okay, garmi ke mare. Okay, and let's say you want to say because of or you know out of. Um, um, due to or because of due to or because of inflation okay and it would be mehenga is expensive mehenga is in is inflation mehengai ke mare okay so I hope at least it is giving you some flavor of the, the kind of places or situations where you can use K Mare. <clears throat> okay, so now we will at least try to practice just this part out of fear, out of happiness. <clears throat> can you think of any other emotions? Don't worry about bigger sentences right now. Just one word followed by K Mare and then <clears throat> And then try to say it in an inverted form. Same thing I can say, Mare dar ke, okay? Mare khushi ke, okay? I can say Mare garmi ke, or Mare mehngai ke. Same meaning, but emphasizing, you know, the effect of it. Um, let's see, Sharmila ji, can you think of some example, just like these? Okay, if you need more time, that's completely fine. You can write it and let's see. Um, can I try? Yeah, please go for it. Garib ke mare? Garibi ke mare. Oh, right. Garibi, sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's very good, right? So you had, and what does it mean? Poverty. Yeah, poverty. 
due to intense and it's always garibi right for the for this it's a noun garibi so garibi it's but garib is the adjective garib is the you know the if somebody is you know poor you can say vah garib hai right it's adjective okay. yeah garibi is like you know the state right i mean garibi due okay. to okay so you will say garibi garibi ke mare kare bolte garibi ke mare anyone else would like to try <clears throat> barish ke mare okay masti ke mare masti ke mare <laughs> okay <clears throat> anyone else खुशी के मारे भी आवे हाँ गुस्से के मारे वेरी गुड गुस्से के मारे भूख के मारे भूख के मारे ओके वेरी गुड सब वन एंड राइट भूख के मारे एंड देन जेडी सेट गुस्से के मारे हैरान के मारे जाना हैरानी हैरानी इज द फीलिंग राइट यू नो हैरान इज यू नॉट से हैरान हैरानी के मारे एनी वन एल्स इवन इफ इट इज रॉन्ग शू ट्राई हा डरने के मारे डरने के मारे धर्म के मारे out of religion you, i i mean again i have to see the sentence by itself you know i don't know where i'll use it but at least give this one a try if you make a sentence i can help out nothing comes to me right now uh, uh something like out of religion he's a vegetarian uh out of religion he's a vegetarian okay wah vegetarian hai dharm ke mare um i need to check it doesn't sound too off like i i don't say it's completely wrong either but i have to check whether you know it's a, um people will use it uh, but it's it doesn't sound incorrect to me ha huh? bukhar ke mare bukhar ke mare very good bukhar ke mare and what does it mean what is bukhar fever fever very good डिफरेंट वन राइट आंख मारे इज आंख प्यार के मारे प्यार आंख मारे <laughs> so प्यार के मारे इज करेक्ट प्यार के मारे बट आंख मारे इज इट्स लिटिल बिट ऑफ इट्स नॉट स्लैंग कम्प्लीटली बट इट्स लाइक यू नो यू विंक बेसिकली राइट इट्स लाइक दैट्स आंख मारे बीमारी के मारे बीमारी के मारे यू कैन से दैट यस बीमारी के मारे ओके सो दिस इज अ गुड एक्सरसाइज एट लीस्ट यू गाइस ऑल ट्राइड द डिफरेंट फीलिंग्स डिफरेंट स्टेट्स सो आई थिंक दैट्स अ मोस्ट कॉमन थिंग इन इन you know a lot of it is feelings like gam ke mare you know uh gusse ke mare dukh ke mare khushi ke mare you are feelings you also said state state is bhook ke mare okay garibi ke mare mehngai ke mare right garmi ke mare right these are states of you know someone experiencing those uh, situation right uh pyar ke mare uh so those are good good at least common buckets you can think of now let's make some sentences right um so let's say you have a sentence called he couldn't speak out of fear he couldn't speak out of fear all of you can try it out all of you should you know write it in in your notes or in zoom chat okay um this is simply you know i can tell you it's sakna is can this one is saka saki or sake instead of sakna you know you are using it saka saki or saki and because it's he you have to use the the you know the ending accordingly 
Okay, Anaji, good to have you. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> you want to give this one a try? He couldn't speak out of fear. Uh, uh, he couldn't speak. Um, um, okay, Vo Dar Kimari. Uh huh. There you go. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so Vo or Vaha Dar Kimari. Bol Nahi Saka. So you really thought about how will you say he couldn't speak, which is Bo Bol Nahi Saka. Okay. And even if this is hard, is you try with he can speak, where bol sakta hai. Then you go to he cannot speak, where bol nahi sakta hai. Then you go to he couldn't speak, where bol nahi saka. In the negative, you know, sentences where you're using the models, you will not put hai at the end. You will simply say, where bol nahi saka. And because you have out of fear, where dar ke mare bol nahi saka. Okay. Um, out of um, how will you say he couldn't speak out of respect? Miraji, you give this one a try. Out of respect, or sometimes you know you, you know you. Um, I need some vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, I'll help you with that. Uh, you, you can simply say this word also, the English word also. Okay. Uh, respect ke mare bol nahi sa. Right? Sometimes you, you, you blush, right? I mean, so it's, it's not really one on one, but sometimes. Asharam. Right? Sometimes you, you have that. Sharam it has a different connotation, but in this case, you will say, Wo sharam ke mare, you know, bol nahi sakra. Okay? He was so guilty that he you know, lunch izzat ke mare. Okay, you can say that izzat ke mare. Um, tamiz. Tamiz, tamiz ke mare. mare. Very good. Tamiz ke mare. mare. Bol nahi saka. Okay. Any other? You you can change this part. How about this? I want to challenge you guys. He couldn't out of this. You can try this. You can try this. You can even change the pronoun also. Then you have a pattern. Like, you know. But at least try with this one. He couldn't use your word. And then you use your inverted post position here. Okay, so you said, dard ke mare chal nahi saka. Awesome. Awesome. So you said, wo. Dard ke mare, dard ke mare chal nahi saka. What does it mean? And it was, oh, Priya ji, go for it. Awesome, good to have you. He couldn't walk because of pain. Very good. He couldn't walk because of pain. Wo dard ke mare, dard is pain. Okay, he couldn't walk because of pain. Awesome. Okay, anyone else? Okay, uh, Vidyaji, why don't you say it? Okay, Neend ke mare. Um, can you change the ending? Wo Neend ke mare. Wo Neend ke mare. Because of, okay, you say, why don't you say, um, he couldn't focus out because of, or out of, like, you know, his, um, um, because of his lack of sleep. Wo neend ke mare. Kuch kar nahi saka. Very good, you can say that. Kuch kar nahi saka. Ya kuch sun nahi saka. Okay, very good. This one is. Dhyan. Okay, Kuch Kuch nahi. Nahi saka. He couldn't he couldn't listen because of his lack of you know sleep. Or you know um, similar sentences basically, right? You you see what I'm 
going it doesn't have to be exactly what i am thinking it has to be something that comes to you automatically which is more important otherwise we will just get into the like you know <laughs> the nitty gritty of it good anyone else would like to try Sure, I'd I'd love to try. Please, please. Um, Masamji, go ahead. You you want to go, Masamji? Masamji, you were saying something. Uh, no, well, well, Nin ke mare kuch sun nahi saka. Well, Nin ke mare kuch sun nahi saka. Okay. Okay. Uh, awesome. I got the same. Uh, okay, out of sleep. Nin ke mare. Yeah, Nin ke mare is. Um, I think it's um because he was so sleepy he couldn't yeah. hear anything. Okay, say whoa whoa uh um lack of <laughs> Yeah, because he was sticky. Susti ke mare kuch sun nahi saka. Susti ke mare. Um I have to see whether susti can be used in this way. Um, susti ke mare. Why don't we? I, I I'll check it for you. Okay, susti ke mare. Okay. Um, anyone else? And Eska ji, you were saying. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try. Yeah. yeah. Um, wo dar ke mare ter nahi sak sakka. Okay. Wo har dar ke mare. But he couldn't swim because he was afraid. Yeah. Wo dar ke mare ter nahi sakka. Right. Um, yeah. Can you say what? Susti ke mare depression se nahi nikal paaya. But okay, w- okay. Because lethargy is lethargy. Susti. Susti is what lethargy you are saying. Uh, so it's the the term is correct. Susti is like yeah. you know um, you know uh, laziness, right? Um, Can you say what? Susti ke karan se yeah, depression I mean, se. That that is more like you know, um, more like you know. Uh, it sounds better when I when you say K Karan, right? Um, but if I use a Mare Susti K, I'll not really use it so commonly. But with that being said, I'm I'm sure there are people who may use it in in that particular manner. But uh, but I'll not use Susti K Mare. It doesn't come so. Naturally to me. I mean, I, other people who are more, you know, knowledgeable may may share. If you are familiar or if you've heard of it, Ted, you do you do you hear Susti in this context? Or oh, Priyaji? Normally, K Mare is it's I feel it's more colloquial. And then if we're talking about someone coming out of depression, it would be. Usually a formal context, so yeah. that's why the two don't seem to go together. Yeah, yeah. I would so, rather say even if you want to use it, you can say depression ke mare, right? I mean that like you know can because of depression you 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 can say like you know uske mare wo ye wo or kuch kar nahi sakta. You can still come up with some sentences, but you know so I'll change the order. Like I will not really say susti ke mare. Awesome. Um, we'll keep going. There are one more. Asuji. Yeah. Asuji. Yeah. And lethargy means what? So susti is uh, what again? Exactly. So I have to say laziness. Lazy. Laziness. Yes. Uh, laziness. I could, okay. I could say yeah. I could say susti ke mare imtihan me pass me ho saka. Yeah. Yeah. I think we are getting. Kamchor. Huh? Susti is kamchor. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Susti, you're saying is calm, sure. Why don't I look into it, the exact word for it? I mean, again, Susti is used in, you know, in many ways, like, you know, the most commonly that I use it, Susti Aadhi, yeah. like, you know, when you wake up and you are, like, not feeling pumped up, you know, and you want to sleep more, you know, my father used to say, Susti Chhod De, like, leave, like, you know, leave your, <laughs> uh, like, this feeling of, that you don't want to wake up, right? Um, but that, how can I write? How can I write in Hindi uh, because of lack of interest? Lack of interest. Uh, lack of interest. Anyone else would like to try this one? Lack of interest. La parva. La parva. Okay. Lack of interest. Now she wants to use it. Seems 
uh, compound post position or the inverted lack of interest shock huh shock shock ke uh, shock okay interest is shock ke shock. okay i see i see so you're saying shock shock ke bina lack of interest um okay anyone else would like to sh try shock ke bina okay i'll look at this one as well nothing that comes to my mind which is like so like you know uh predominantly used like we can make it up like you know uh, we can come up we can derive something but like you know nothing comes to me um, that that is a very prominent one lack of interest like in english you can see like lack of interest is a very common term that like you can use it but in hindi you probably most likely have to derive in you know uh, sentence okay so i'll i'll get going because i want to at least finish um one more uh, inverted post position before we wrap up so the next one i have is um case seva case seva sometimes you will say sivai as well okay which is uh you have it is k and then seva k seva which means um which okay. means accept which means accept okay which means um so let's say you have the you remember the first one we tried without right um ke bina so same thing if you were to say uh, accept milk accept milk you will say doodh ke seva okay so let's say you came to my house and i'm going to ask you like what will you have aap kya piyenge okay you'll say mai doodh ke siwa kuch bhi piyunga i'll drink anything except milk maybe because you are lactose intolerant right mai doodh ke siwa kuch bhi piyunga except milk okay um me to me tumhare siwa kuch nahi chahiye yeah very good right so So I'm going to come to the pronoun part as well. So now let's say you have except water. Okay, it would be pani ke siwa, pani ke siwa, and then you have except you. That's what you were saying, Mahadi. It is. Yes, it's from a movie. Ajay Devgan and Preeti Zinta. To Mahade Siva song. Siva. Very good, right? So if you look it up, right, you will get some song. Except you, to Mahade Siva. Okay, say the sentence one more time. Ah, me to Mahade Siva, kuch nahi chahiye. Okay, मुझे तुम्हारे सिवा कुछ नहीं चाहिए. I do not want anything except you. Okay, which is basically emphasizing, you know, I only want you. um let's see you have this one except money okay let's see tyler ji what do you think it is it means except money or be paise ke siwa paise ke siwa so let's tyler ji let's make a sentence how will you say he thinks He thinks yeah. वह सोचता है How will you say he doesn't think? वह नहीं सोचता है Very good. वह नहीं सोचता है How will you say he doesn't he doesn't think? Uh, uh, basically you want to say he doesn't think anything without except except money. he doesn't think about anything but except for money that's right okay so oh um kuch ke baare mein mm -hmm. um right like about anything mm -hmm. uh, so kuch ke baare mein paise ke sabah paise sochta okay 
सोचता है ओके सो सो लेट्स से ही थिंक्स अबाउट मनी हाउ विल से ही थिंक्स अबाउट मनी वह पैसा सोचता है वह पैसे के ओके सो आई एम गोना आई वाज ट्राइंग वेट 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 ही ही थिंक्स अबाउट मनी या वह पैसे के बारे में सोचता है राइट सो यू हैव वह पैसे के बारे में सोचता है राइट so he thinks about money right. but like what i was trying to get to is which is what you okay which is what you also said uh but you will say vah paise ke siwa because i want to use this term right vah paise ke siwa kuch nahi sochta hai okay वह कुछ नहीं सोचता राइट वह कुछ नहीं सोचता है बेसिकली यू आर सेइंग ही ओनली ही ओनली थिंक्स अबाउट मनी दैट्स व्हाट यू आर सेइंग बट इन एन बाय मेकिंग अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस ही डजंट थिंक एनीथिंग एक्सेप्ट मनी राइट दैट्स व्हाट यू आर सेइंग हियर बट इट मींस ही ओनली थिंक्स अबाउट मनी विद्या जी यू आर रेजिंग योर हैंड सिवा कुछ नहीं सोचता आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट अनिस्का जी रोड एनी वन एल्स वुड लाइक टू यूज वी आर लिल बिट ओवर टाइम so we'll not practice too much of it but i want to hear some sentences from you where you can say k k siva or k siva hai okay i'm going to give you some hint when you go to the again like in the hindi movies when they show the scene of a court and when the person is taking the oath okay where they say i only say the truth and accept truth how will you say Except truth. Let's see someone who's not tried Mala ji. Why don't you try? Except truth. Sachai ke siva. Very good. Sach ke siva. Sach ke siva. Sach ke siva. Sach is like is written and is spoken as this English sach. Okay, mm-hmm. such. Okay, so how will you say I won't speak anything? Um, What's the truth? Yeah, may. Uh, may. Uh, such case is what? Such case is what? Um, नहीं बोल कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं future बोल बोलती हूँ बोलूँगी Okay. Oh, I will. You can say बोलती हूँ which is correct. मैं सच which is like you are telling about your day to day life. मैं सच के सिवा कुछ नहीं बोलती हूँ. But when the person is taking the oath, you know, in the court room, it's the future one, right? I will not say anything, right? So, so मैं सच के सिवा कुछ नहीं बोलूँगी. You should watch it. Guruji. Yeah. And the the judge will say मैं सच के सिवा कुछ नहीं सुनूँगी. Very good, right? Very good. मैं जब सच के सिवा कुछ नहीं सुनूँगा. That the judge will say. um i'll i'll leave you with a very famous old hindi song okay where the person says maybe that will also resonate and stick a little bit longer um so i'm going to say write it down and then you have to think about it the, and it's a very famous song you can look it up which is teri teri aankhein yeah so teri aankhon teri aankhon yes okay. Very good. Keep singing. It is good. Your eyes are so beautiful. Yes. Your eyes are so beautiful. In the world. In the world. Keep what is it? Keep what is it? Very good. Right? So, um, hopefully, this part you can, you know, see. Your eyes. Your eyes is eyes. Eyes. Right. आंखों के सिवा इज एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट योर आईज ओके दुनिया इज 
in the world okay okay, okay. and then rakha kya hai keeping what is left what is left in this world what is there in this in this world except, except your except your right yes tere aake kafi hai you want to say that's right that's what he's uh, trying to say that you know for me your eyes are everything uh, enough mm. yeah all right so i hope um, you know this i'm going to stop the on the facebook side and um